Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about factoring quadratic expressions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Before we factor out quadratic expressions, let's talk about the anatomy of quadratic expressions. We have here ax squared plus bx plus c. This ax squared is the leading term of the given quadratic expression. Since this one is the leading term, meaning this variable a is the leading coefficient. Now, aside from that, uh, aside from having the leading term and the leading coefficient, we also have this variable or this number. This one is the constant. Constant will give you the idea on how are we going to factor out a given quadratic expression. Now let's start factoring a quadratic expression. What we have here is x squared plus 8x plus 12. Here, in our first example, and throughout the three different examples that we have here, the leading coefficient is 1. So all we know that the factors of a given quadratic expression are two parentheses. So how are we going to factor out this given quadratic expression? First, you will think, what are the two things that you need to multiply to get the product of x squared? And the answer is x and x. When you multiply x times x, it will give you the first term x squared. And now it's time for us to determine what is the second term of the given parentheses. For us to know what are the terms here, we need to know or we need to get the different factors of 12. As you can see, there are different, there are so many possible factors of 12. And let us list out all the possible factors of 12. We have 12. The first pair of factors is 1 times 12. Next, 2 times 6. Followed by 3 times 4. Now, how are we going to know which pair of the factors we're going to use in this quadratic equation? What we need to do is to add the numbers. 1 plus 12 that is equal to 13. 2 plus 6 that is equal to 8. 3 plus 4 that is equal to 7. So as you can see, this 8 is the same as the coefficient of your middle term. Since this sum is equal to the coefficient of your middle term, therefore, we're going to use 2 and 6 as the factor of 12 as the second term of our two factors here. So we have here x plus 2 plus x plus 6. So how do we know whether our answer is correct? We know that when we multiply 2x times x, a 2 times x, that is 2x. When we multiply x times 6, that is 6x. And when you add them, that would give you the answer of 8x. Meaning, the factors are x plus 2 times x plus 6. So I hope you can get the way on how to factor out a given quadratic expression. So let's move on to the second example. In our second example, as you can see, what we have here is x squared plus 7x minus 18. For this example, let us prepare two sets of parentheses. And obviously, this is x and x. So next step is to determine the factors of negative 18. Since this is negative, the factors must be 
a positive and a negative or a negative and a positive. Now let's start with negative 1 times 18. Negative 2 times 9. Negative 3 times 6. Okay? We can also have the factors. Let us use a positive 1 and a negative 18. We can also use positive 2 and negative 9. We can also have positive 3 and negative 6. Among these six pairs of factors, which one will produce positive 7? And as you can see, when we add this, negative 1 plus 18, that is 17. Negative 2 plus 9, that is equal to 7. And as you can see, we already have the positive 7. Meaning, we're going to use negative 2 and positive 9. So this is negative 2 and plus 9. The factors of x squared plus 7x minus 18 is simply x minus 2 times x plus 9. Okay? Now let's move on with the last example. For our last example, we have x squared minus 7x plus 10. So let's prepare two sets of parentheses. This is x and x. Remember, huh? the first terms are x and x because the coefficient or the leading coefficient here is 1. Now, let's have the factors of 10. Now, for us to minimize the number of, the number of possible factors that we're going to list down, as you can see, this one is positive. Again, this one is positive. And our... The coefficient of the middle term is negative, meaning we're going we're gonna to try to list down all the factors of 10 in which the two numbers are both, post, both negative. So let's start with negative 1 times negative 10. Still, this is negative times negative. It will give you the positive 10. We have negative 2 times negative 5. Okay? Sir, so what about... The positive factors. If you're going to list down all the positive factors, um, hindi siya pwede. It's not possible because, as you can see, let's, write, let's say we have 1 times 10. When you add 1 times 1 plus 10, it will not give you a, a negative answer. Okay? 2 and 5. Let's try. 1 plus negative 10, that is negative 11. Negative 2 plus negative 5, that is equal to negative 7. And as you can see, this negative 7, meaning the factors are negative 2 and negative 5. Sir, another question. Can we interchange the position of negative 2 to negative 5? Yes, since the coefficient of this variable x is equal to 1. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest upload. By the way guys, I will give you an assignment. Try to answer. x square plus Five x plus six. Try to factor out x squared plus five x plus six. Bye bye.